Hey everyone, welcome back to another season of the Microburst 600 side-by-side -side build. Okay, I had a pretty good season last year. If you remember, I uh, ended up making a new axle assembly with uh, bigger CV joints and uh, oversized diameter axle, and that worked out pretty well. Never had any axle issues, and I think it ran pretty good all season. So I'm just uh, going through it here and getting it ready for another season, just doing some uh, regular maintenance items. So I'm just starting off in the rear end here. I just uh, tore everything down and took the hubs out and getting some new bushings, putting new brake pads on, greasing up the bearings. So I got most of the stuff over here already. But I did uncover one serious issue and uh, that's kind of why I'm making this video. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here in a second. So at the end of last season I noticed that the uh, rear player's transmission here was uh, leaking a little bit of oil. It's leaked a little bit of oil from the front but uh, I noticed there was a new leak coming from the back so I poke my head underneath and I'll show you what I found. Okay, so here we are looking at the rear diff of the uh, Polaris 800 unit and see the oil's dripping on me. And see if we can get this in focus. So you see this right here? I don't know if we're going to see that very well. Let's see if we can get that in focus. We have a crack in the case. Kinda hard to see, but it's there. Right up here. So this area hasn't been impacted or anything like that. I'm just guessing the stress of the extra horsepower from the uh, GSXR 600 motors just put too much stress on this thing and uh, caused it to crack on me. You can see it right there. Anyway, so we're going to pull, pull this rear diff out and um, I got a buddy up the road. He does some aluminum TIG welding so we're going to disassemble this unit, take it over there and uh, see what we can do with it. getting that rear diff out. Uh, that's pretty straightforward. It's just held in by a few bolts up in there and then the uh, the bracket on the side but uh, I managed to get that out no problem. And that's when things went from bad to worse. Okay so split the uh, the rear diff apart here and uh, you can really see that crack in there now. So I got a couple buddies, they know how to TIG weld, so we're going to TIG weld this case, but uh, that's not the real problem anymore. Check this out. I 
That's not supposed to look like that. That is supposed to look like that. Yeah, so somewhere, somehow, I don't know when, chip that tooth. So that tooth has been floating around in there broken like that for some time now. That's a real bugger. Yeah, so I got a broke tooth on my uh, my ring gear here. Well, I guess I'm gonna hit up the uh, the Polaris page and uh, just kind of see what one of these ring gears is worth. And if not, I guess I'm gonna be hitting up eBay. But uh, there's no way I'm gonna put this back together with a broken tooth like that. So yeah. Things went from bad to worse. Got that diff housing all welded up. Big thanks to my buddy Miguel for uh, cracking out the TIG welder and getting that fixed up for me. So we got her bolted on the mill here. We need to uh, come in and resurface the area here so this thing will sit uh, nice and flush. And then on the inside, uh, you can see here there's this kind of little groove where the, uh, the casing kind of sits down into it. So I got to come in with my end mill and just clean up this area uh, in here just kind of smooth it out so that case will sit in there okay get my end mills in and I'll uh, we'll fire this thing up and we'll get cutting
All right, I just got the uh, replacement ring gear in the mail and found this guy on eBay. Yeah, it looks pretty good. A little bit of surface rust on it. I guess it got a little, uh, a little wet or a little damp or something. Picked up a bit of moisture. Anyway, start getting this thing back together. Pull that old gear off and. Yeah. Okay, folks, time to get this rear diff back together. I received my ring gear off of eBay. So I have that thing installed, all torqued down onto the uh, center spool section. So that guy's ready to go. And I started reinstalling the pinion. And what I need to do now is get this pinion nut torqued down to spec. So I've been doing some reading online. What people are doing is they'll clean it up real good, put a bunch of red Loctite on it, and then uh, torque it down. Now, the thing is, I need a way to hold this thing so that I can get in there and torque it. So what I found online is people will take the, the center spline coupler that goes between that transmission box and the rear diff, and they'll hold it in some fashion or another. So I have it in my uh, my milling vise here inside my V-blocks. And then to get onto that nut, what people do is they'll take a, a socket here, cut the end off it, and then just weld a little bit of an extension on here so that you can get your, uh, your torque wrench on it. So I made this guy here pretty straightforward. So we're gonna slide that into here first slide the whole assembly onto this and then we'll get the torque wrench on there and uh, hopefully tighten everything up. All right, let's see how it goes. All right, so we're gonna take this. This is gonna slide right into there, just like that. And then this whole assembly, this is gonna slide onto there, okay. Perfect. Now, where's my torque wrench? It's over there. Okay, what do we got there now? All right, there's 180. Okay, 180. 230. Okay. Whew. 240. There we go, 250. Oh yeah, we got 250. Good. Whoo! There we go. There we go, folks. This will work good. Oh yeah, I got the parts I was waiting on from Polaris. Uh, I got the case O-ring, the uh, foil seal for the pinion, and uh, I got the shims uh, for the, uh, the rear diff there. Uh, so I've just been playing with this. Yeah, honestly, I really don't know what I'm doing, but uh, I think I've got this dialed in. I was just watching some videos on YouTube trying to figure out what to do. So I've got the end play on this guy uh, dialed into about three, three and a half thou. And there's uh, just a little bit of backlash on this, which is, I believe is what you want. You can see what I'm twisting there. That's about the movement for the backlash. Anyway, it feels pretty good. So I think I'm gonna uh, I'll finish this up. I'll put the the O-ring seal back in it. Uh, pop the oil seal in the back here and button it up and call that thing a day. All right, just finished getting that diff bolted back in. Check it out. It is back together. I'm gonna fire it up. We'll run it and uh, just see what it looks like.
All right, we're moving right along here now. Just finished putting this uh, A-arm back together. Got everything all cleaned up, ready to go. I bought a bushing kit for this thing, for the, uh, the rear uprights here. So they're getting pretty worn out, so I uh, picked up a kit from All Balls. Got that from uh, Royal Distributing. And uh, brand new uh, EBC brake pads in there as well. Again, got that from Royal Distributing, so. Just gotta finish bolting that axle in, but yeah, it's looking good. We're getting there. We're getting there. Runs in uh, two days. And I'm gonna get this done. Hey, okay, folks, we are back in business. Just finished taking this guy for a little rip around the block and. Well, I think seems to be working good. I didn't vlog on it too hard there. I want to be able to drive this thing tomorrow. Look at that. Oh yeah, look good. Ran some sea foam through the engine just to kind of clean it up a little bit. Might drop a can of sea foam in the tank as well, clean the injectors out or something. Oh yeah, it's looking good. Just purring away. It was a big day. I'm gonna take her for a rip. First run this season. Okay, we made it. Here we are, folks. Made it out to the season opener for the Renfrew County ATV Club. Got the micro burst all buttoned up, back together late last night. Gave both machines a good cleaning, shine them up. Here we are. Say hello. All right, there we go, Micro Burst 600, ready to go. Diff's all back together. All the repairs done for 2019, so here we go, kicking off 2019 season. Apparently there's been about 400 people through here. They sent a bunch of teams out already. But yeah, a lot of people showing up for this. There we go, there's, there's Bobby. My dead Bobby. Come on, Bobby. All right, line's moving. <laughs> <laughs> 